Hey, greetings everybody. Gleekon here again with another episode of Lore of Warcraft. We left off with one called the Benefactor, um, which was really kind of misnomer. It was Kill Jaden posing as this spiritual mega elemental benefactor that would help the orcs annihilate the Draenei, and it didn't sit right with Nerjul, so he started kind of seeking advice from the ancestors. Um, Kill Jaden didn't like that. He decided he had to go. Meanwhile, Gul'dan has been recruiting more and more warlocks to his cause. So stay a while and listen to this one. It's called The Breaking of Nerjul. And this is uh, probably going to be the end of Nerjul, at least as we know him. As Gul'dan trained his warlocks, Nerjul reached Oshagun. He called out to the ancestors, his force of will so strong that he broke through the unseen barriers that killed Jaden had placed around the Sacred Mountain. A storm of ethereal voices howled in the shaman's mind. Among them was his mate, Rulkan. This was not the guise assumed by Kil Jaden, it was the real Rulkan. The spirit revealed that Nerjul had been used. The Draenei were not the enemy, Kil Jaden was. He was not concerned with saving the orcs, his goal was to corrupt them. With Gul'dan's help, Kil Jaden had coerced Nerjul into forming the Horde and igniting war against the innocent Draenei. Rulkan and the other ancestral spirits then turned their backs on Nerjul. Their silent condemnation crushed the Elder Shaman, for he knew that there was nothing he could ever do to win back their favor. For the spiritual orc, such a fate was worse than death. Shame flooded through Nerjul. The ancestors were right to disavow him. He had been a fool, delivering the orcs into the hands of evil without even realizing it. His head bowed and his heart heavy, he skulked back to Shadowmoon Valley to decide what he would do in the days ahead. At the very least, he believed he could find ways to sabotage whatever Gul'dan and Kil Jaden planned for the orcs. He would never have the chance. Before the chieftain reached Shadowmoon Valley, Gul'dan and his new followers apprehended him. Many of the warlocks called for Nerjul's death, but Gul'dan did not indulge them. Kil Jaden had given his servant specific orders regarding the Elder Shaman. The Demon Lord wanted Nerjul to watch what would become of the orc race. Kil Jaden also had practical reasons for keeping the Elder Shaman alive. Nerjul had been the one to lobby for war against the Draenei. If he suddenly disappeared, it would raise suspicion among the other clans. In the weeks and months to come, Gul'dan and his warlocks would constantly abuse Nerjul and treat him as little more than a slave. The Elder Shaman feared death and he became too weak and timid to disobey his masters. He would gradually fade from the public eye and his usurpers would become the voice of the Shadowmoon clan. I'm guessing he fears death because he knows he's been disavowed from the ancestral spirits, so he's got... Nothing good in the afterlife awaiting him. All right, so yeah, the end of Nerjul as we know him. I feel like his name is still familiar, though, and, and that he's got some roles to play in certain quests in the world of Warcraft. All righty, I got another episode in the pipes, 5x5. Five five. I thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you on the next episode of Lore of Warcraft.